Hey, what's up? Going on, you motherfuckers? Uh, I got my boy Dan back here. As uh, this new episode, we're going to be talking about the new modern warfare. Okay, so this year's reiteration of the same fucking bullshit as always. Yeah. Give me your first impressions since you played a little bit of the multiplayer. How's yeah. multi the multiplayer? So I definitely like the multiplayer. I feel like it's a little bit different than fucking just like the running gun that I'm like so used to. I feel like you actually like have to push as a team and like are actually like covering corners and um, I don't know, I, yeah. I like it. Like it seems like super like each gun has its weakness and it feels like I don't know, it feels more like grounded, it doesn't feel like... It's not just like a running around bunch of Yeah, like you're not like wall jumping and like fucking double jumping. Dude, the wall jumping was when it got out of hand. Yeah, I was like, man, like, so... But this feels like good, like I try jump and sliding, it's just like, like, I'm like, okay, like... Yeah, you're not spending your life, you're not gonna be jumping and running and sliding like that. Maybe, like, a little bit, maybe, probably, but not like most Call of Duty games. Yeah, everyone might think that's boring, but I... I no, I like that too. I personally like it. I feel like that's how everyone is. Like, very few people will be like, want a Fortnite type deal, you know? I feel that's like why they have Fortnite. It's yeah, yeah. Fortnite, and this is more But like you know this. what I mean? The whole fucking, like... Yeah, jump around, look yeah. like, what do they call it? Like, rabbit. Yeah. Like, I, woo! Yeah. Little bunny foo-foo. The only game that did that, like, right to me was, like, Titanfall 2. Like, the whole... Okay, Titanfall. Well, well, that was a good game. That was, that was a very good game. game. Um, so for the multiplayer that I... It's fun. I, I agree, you gotta push teams. You can mount the gun on the wall now, get some accuracy. I really enjoy that. I do not like that there's like five modes. Like, it's fucking stupid. I can't play the games I wanna play. Yeah. Realism is not real, it's just without a HUD. So it's really, it, it doesn't even make a bunch of sense. You can't even like choose a, like what you're used to. I don't, whereas sabotage is like part of these, these uh, this cluster fuck of like, there's five game modes in one. And I don't wanna play that, I wanna play Domination. So I have to get rid of all these other ones, play Domination. Nobody wants to play just Domination, so I can't play a fucking game. I hate it. It's stupid. Well, I think the problem that they're trying to like, <coughs> solve with that is just like, them... Like, cause I know after like a week, no one fucking plays like these certain game modes. And it's just like, fucking these two. And everyone, like all of these are just empty. Do what the last like, fucking Call of Duty did. Promote it. Hey, two times experience. Everyone's like, oh my god, I gotta get my next level. Uh, and then everybody plays that one. See, That's it's literally all you have to do. Okay, I mean... There's only so much time you can do that because after a while people are like, what, prestige, like 2000? Well, that's <laughs> people who don't have a life and their Cheetos are embedded in their keyboards and controllers. That's different. So, now, the campaign is like a 180 from the multiplayer. Dude, I saw like uh, just like 20 minutes of it. You have from IGN, IGN though, right? Yeah. I fuck IGN. But anyway, go ahead. Dude, that shit was gorgeous. Though. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about how good it looks. It's IGN. Dude, they're biased that. now. They got bought out. They're Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. <laughs> I'm interrupting. Nah, but I fucking I really did like like the gameplay. Which one did you see? I, it was the the, the rate of they're going up multiple times. So I saw it like right? Thursday before it dropped because I'll never pre-order a game. Very rarely I'll pre-order maybe like Last of Us two, mm -hmm. but that's because Last of Us was my baby, you know. It was good. They should have made a sequel. No, they should have. You're full of shit. But anyway, <laughs> <Go on. laughs> it fucking ended perfectly. That was the most human like ending ever. Yeah. Leave it at that. Anyway, campaign. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're wrong, but, um, <laughs> nah, but like the campaign, like when I see a game and it's just like utterly beautiful, it's like, oh, it has my interest, like oh, definitely, yeah. like, it's like eye candy, you know? I don't want to yeah. play a game like, like don't get me wrong, like older games are fun and all, but I, it has to be like, the mechanics have to be great for me to fucking lower my eyes down to fucking 480, you know? Fucking, that's just <laughs> disgusting. I think you grew up on a very pampered, like, high definition. Yeah, like, now that's like a fucking stream. I, I like, came from the 8 4K, 60 frames a second. Oh, like, that's just, like, sweet. But no, I was, like, watching it, and it was, like, damn, like... I damn, think, Daniel. It was, like, fucking... <laughs> it was delicious. Like, just, like, the way the, the, like, the format is, it's just, like... I don't know, I feel like Call of Duty, its biggest struggle was just, like, it tries to, like like top itself and yeah. not so much in like game to game like in level to level it's like oh this time we're gonna fucking oh, okay. go down like this highway and we're gonna be shooting like out of this truck mm -hmm. and that's great but that should like not be what you do because after a while it's not stale but it's just like i've seen this yeah, but this, that's I really saw... one of the things yeah that their biggest problem was the same shit no matter who made the game like over and over yeah. they put like a small tweak but it didn't really but this, feel different yeah like this i fucking saw like them clearing like a fucking like like a five-story building and just going room by room, and it was like the same rooms, but it was like I was like okay, and then, like the guys cut out the light, and I was like all right, all right, yeah. and it's like we're going silence, and then you have that kind of like that option if you want to just fucking like go in there and like shoot everyone, like 
I yeah. I'm pretty sure you're not gonna get punished for killing. No, you, if you shoot a civilian, you automatically lose. Oh, for FYI, just to let you know. Oh, but I feel like yeah. Oh, that's what I was I was gonna try that out. <laughs> no, 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 it goes friendly fire is not tolerated, or so you can't shoot civilians. Okay. Yeah, so no, it actually may give you like a little tactical sense. The campaign itself story is the same thing you've seen with Russia and then oh my god the Middle Eastern guy that like, gets the same thing. Yeah. It's dumb, but. The uh, intensity and the tenseness that they brought with it was amazing. Um, like when I was clearing that that building, yeah, I'm you know I'm mounting my gun on a railway, looking up while they're like, all right, you got me clear, and then they're moving. I'm like, oh shit, man, and then I, I got it. They're like, all right, go clear that room, and I got to clear it. And if I don't actually look in every corner, they're like, go clear the room. Like I'm an like I'm literally fucking retarded. They're like, hey, go clear the room, dude. We're going waiting on you. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go back, and then I usually get shot, and I'm like, ah, so. But that campaign. It's great. It's super short. Yeah. Like really short. But it brought this sense of realism to it. Yeah. That yeah. was like it's new coat of paint. I loved it. And it's super gorgeous. It reminds me like when um what was it? Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn came out. Like how Dude, how I great that engine looked. Yeah. That or, looked really good. Um the Fox engine with uh, MGS5, because it was just so super clean. And this is the same way. And then that campaign intenseness, like all the night missions, um the sneak missions. Every time you get to like, you have to be this other girl, or you're playing um, like from a chopper or something like that. Yeah. Everything just felt so much better like than all the other Call of Duties. I don't know why. That's good to hear. Like, man. It's, That's it's like fucking great. Maybe they're like actually listening because I know the last Call of Duty was fucking like exactly what I didn't want. No like single player. Yeah. So nothing for me to just like grind out and get excited over about because that's yeah. what I'm gonna be thinking. Like what sold me, what and the reason I bought it was that they had like first off it was like forty bucks. So that's not a good sign, but I still bought it. <laughs> I didn't remember that. I totally forgot. But it like, wasn't a full price. Either. Yeah, like something like that. Like they lowered it, and I was like, might as well, you know. They didn't and make their I initial played, sales. Yeah, I played like Blackout, and I was just like, oh, like this is not what I expected. They, I think that game came out because it was the they're getting on that train of the, the no hands the down battle royale hands down because kind of kind of like sweet. there's like Fortnite and it's like Kitty and then PUBG is like too hard. I thought it was gonna be like right in the middle, but I feel like Apex is like. What? Like, Apex, yeah, that, that that's probably the best uh, yeah. reiteration. I mean, iteration of like if Call of Duty did it like that, like I would have been like, all right, I'm sold. You know? I don't know. I don't. But think, they I don't did. think no. They should have just stayed with what they had, and it's good. Pre-orders were down. The game itself is good. I mean, I like it. It's fucking great. So one thing I don't think I ever told you is like the sound on this. Yeah. Like the sound is this fucking. It's through the wall, dude. Like, really? I, dude, it's absolutely ridiculous. Dude, like, the one thing I did fucking love about it, and this is, like, the smallest details, but it gives me, like, orgasms. Like, <laughs> fucking, like, like when he's fucking reloading, he's doing it, and he's holding it, like, fucking, like, how Special Ops does it. Like, fucking, like, holding it with one guy, one hand. He has, like, the fucking mag. He fucking... Just, yeah, like, just like, put like it back in his yeah. holster. And yeah, and it's just, like, so fucking it's sick instead of just, you know? I'm like... Like, he's actually, like, undoing it, like, how you would load a magazine. Yeah, absolutely. It it, 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 that is nice. Like, and you can, you can... In a building, like, he's actually, like, turning the gun. Like, I was just like, oh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, except that sense of realism was nice. And you can uh, reload down the sights now. So if I know there's somebody around the corner and I ran out, he just, okay, now I'm ready. And then he comes, I can pop him. Like, that was great. I've yeah. done that a couple I'm times. Fucking... It's just the small things go a long way. And it's been so long, I felt since any Call of Duty has really fucking done that. And it's pissed me off. And this yeah. one fucking nailed it. I feel like they did this a good job. Nailed it. I don't know if I have to play the multiplayer because the lobbies are fucking trash right now. Just like, you know. yeah, that's because every like fucking kid is on. The no, there's a mute alt button, but I mean like it's just how everything sets up, and I couldn't get a, a lobby with special ops for for like at all. I had to yeah. go with randoms. I don't want to play with fucking randoms. Obviously, special ops is gonna be me and people I know. Yeah. So it was really a pain in my ass. So I was a little upset about that. Not to mention the six-hour install time. Fuck that. Yeah. Two sets of special apps, two sets of multiplayer, uh, a campaign, part one, campaign part two, and then the actual just solid install of the whole game. It was fu no. Yeah, for no me, like, what I do that. is I fucking like go to Redbox, and like I have different tiers, like, oh, this is a game that I'll rent, see if it's good, if not, I'll buy it, you know? Because right now, I can knock out this, this single player and fucking yeah, like- a couple hours, dude. Yeah, like it's nothing. nothing. Just load it overnight, rent it for two days, six bucks, you know, instead of 60, like 10 times oh, yeah. Like, it's fucking... But hey, the, the, this game is made, makes its money on multiplayer. Yeah, that's really what it's and designed. That's what. But they still. That's that's what's gonna like sell me if I buy it or not. Like, yeah, honestly. But they put enough emphasis on the campaign and the special ops. I feel like that it's it's gonna sell with that. As yeah. Well, so 
either way. Hey, thanks for coming on. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time.